Hi Shutter Clickers. We're on a road trip today. But first I want to thank everybody for watching my videos and for all your comments that you're making. I appreciate that very much. And please don't forget to subscribe. The big red button below the video, punch it, subscribe. That really helps out a lot. I'd appreciate that. But today, anyway, we're on a road trip. We're going out to Lake Wachita, the biggest lake in Arkansas, and probably, I think, the third or fourth biggest man-made lake in the United States. It's very clear. It's about 35 miles long, about three miles wide. And we're going out there tonight to try to get some pictures of the sunset. So come on along for the ride. We're going to try to get a neat picture and have some good fun and have a little picnic while we're out there. We'll catch you out at the lake. Bye for now.
I'm gonna have a little picnic first. Let's get the one in the shade. Beautiful day. Sound like the kids are all having fun. We're gonna have us a picnic. Oh yeah, they're all over at the beach. Having a great time. is obviously the marina. So we're going to shut her down now because I'm hungry. Well it's early. Too early for a sunset. So we thought we'd just drive around and scout out a good place and I think we found one. Back this way down there is the lake <clears throat> and we can shoot up the lake but probably not a really great sunset, but might get some good clouds. So in the meantime, we're at uh, Three Sisters. Three Sisters is a spring. <clears throat> you can probably hear the water running. And each spring is supposed to give you better health for one reason or another and they all have their specific need so this is three sisters that gives the history I have no idea you can tell the story of Tom Todd. spring number one you can see what it's supposed to provide and there's spring number two. Something different. And then spring number three. So, so it's good for whatever ails you. And I'll show you the springs. Spring two. And right up there, that's spring number one. And then over here, spring number three. So, quite a deal. Well, there wasn't any place to shoot there. Kind of a disappointment. I, I thought I knew a place, but there wasn't. There was campers everywhere, tents all over the shoreline. Just amazing how many people are out here. So we're headed to the dam, and we're gonna get on top of the dam. We'll probably be all alone up there, but I don't know whether there'll be a picture there or not. But anyway, that's where we're headed. Catch you there.
Well, we got disappointing news. The news is, this place closes at 8 o'clock. They lock the gate, and everybody's got to be out. Sunset's not till 8.30 tonight. So, we're going to have to try somewhere else another day. But this ends this day, so we'll catch you all later. Bye. back home and we got to thinking that maybe Lake Balboa would be a good lake to take a picture from. So I'm going to set up right here and uh, see if we can't get a shot of the sunset right here in our own backyard. So I'll get setting up and then we'll get back at you in a little bit. Take a look at the sunset there, or at least what's going to be the sunset. I've taken several pictures. Now I'm just waiting for the sun to go down. I took uh, one picture just using the automatic settings for the camera. Uh, I used a number 10 neutral density filter. Looks like this. Here, I'll turn around so you can kind of you can't you can't even see through that. I'll give you the stats on that uh, at the end of the movie. And then I uh, used uh, this lens with uh, graduated neutral. I used two neutral density filters on that one to get it darkened down enough where I could take into the sun. The only other lens I had on all these was a polarizing filter. So, and I set my camera up. If you'll notice back a little ways, I'm trying to get the uh, grass uh, that's growing in water here into the picture as well. So uh, it's going to be a nice sunset. Uh, no clouds, unfortunately, but it's still going to be nice and yellow and pretty. Well, the sun has set. It's over there behind the hill. I don't know if you can see it in the movie or not. It's right there. And, uh, boy, really, really, really pretty, considering there's no clouds. Well, I'll show you all the pictures at the end of the film. It's just amazing. I just don't want to turn the movie off. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to take another picture real quick. Hang on, guys, while I, while I do this. OK, 
Okay. This. I'm trying to get it slowed down enough to where the ripples in the water will be smoothed out. But I think that's about the last shot I can get. I'll tell you, this has been an exciting day. Even though we didn't get uh, great pictures out on Lake Wachita, uh, you know we've been out here about five hours now. We've had a really good time. We had a nice picnic lunch, and the weather has just been absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you know, you just got to get your camera and get out. It's uh, there's just so many pictures close to home. Gee, I drove all the way over to Lake Wachita, and right here in my own backyard was the best. Uh, sunset. It's just, just amazing. So, uh, well listen, I hope you enjoy the pictures and once again, uh, please leave your comments, what you think of them, and uh, subscribe. Push that big red button subscribe. Help me out here. And get me on that upper level so that my channel can be found on YouTube. Uh, I need all the help I can get. And in the meantime, uh, keep those shutter clicking. Okay, shutter clickers. It's been a couple of days now and I've processed all the images so I need to wrap this up and uh, kind of let you know what's going on. All I did to the images was some minor cropping, uh, adjusted the exposure just a little bit on some, and minor color correction on the filtered pictures because the filters left the images kind of purple. Other than that, I've done nothing to them. I didn't make any kind of adjustments at all. Uh, four pictures were my final four out of about 25 pictures, something like that. And when you pare down the HDRs, which is three pictures for each picture, one that's underexposed, one that's rightly exposed, one that's overexposed, making one picture. So totally, we got about 10, 11 pictures. And out of those 10 or 11, I picked just four that I thought were uh, worthy of uh, looking at. Now, I don't have Photoshop and I don't have Lightroom to make any kind of adjustments with. I do use Corel PaintShop Pro to make the minor adjustments. And I also use Aftershot for the raw pictures. The first picture that you're going to see is an HDR and that's where I use the 10 stop filter. If you remember I showed you the filter and how dark it was. But it wasn't really sunset at the time. The sun was still pretty high in the sky. But it made a kind of nice picture. The second picture that you'll see was the picture that the camera took automatically. I set it up for landscape mode automatic. The exposure on that was F71 ISO 100 at a 50th of a second. And I was surprised at how well the picture actually came out because I let the camera decide the processing, what it was to look like. And it did a pretty nice job considering everything. The third picture is another HDR picture and I used two filters on that. I used a two stop and a four stop but they were graduated filters, meaning that they start out dark and they get lighter and lighter as they come down the, the filter. That's probably my favorite picture. It's, well, right here it is, but you'll see a better picture than this. And it has the, the sun kind of beamed, and I don't know what caused that. I, it wasn't anything that I did in pro, post-processing to make the sun have the light rays like that, the beaming. And because of that, I thought it made the picture very dynamic, and it was very, well, it was just, just a neat picture. The last picture was an HDR with no filters, and I cropped it to make it look like a panoramic picture. The only thing about that picture, the sun had already set, so it's a little late in the evening. But it still was kind of a neat picture. So... Let's uh, go ahead and look at the pictures. And before I go, though, I want to remind you to subscribe and leave your comments. I really appreciate the comments that I've been getting and the suggestions on how to make the pictures better. And one last thought. If the pictures aren't the quality you want to see hanging on the wall, that's okay. 
but we have a lot of fun doing it. So it's more about the experience than it is about the picture. And I always want you to keep that in mind. It was a great time out there. And the video is a, is a little long because I wanted people to see uh, the area. Take a look at it and, and kind of it share and enjoy what we saw and enjoyed. So in the meantime, keep that shutter clicking. <laughs>